welcome back to What the Fan Thrift. That's right, we're banging through. We're on video number three of the day. Guga is holding up so well. I'm so proud of you, although you are rolling away from me. <laughs> I am not I'm not grabbing her booty. You yeah. can lean against the wall, it's okay. Okay. Yeah, it's comfortable. I'm, yeah. You can it's okay, you can scratch the wall. It's okay. I'm okay right this minute. Okay. I'm not moving. <laughs> so, welcome to What the Fan Thrift, where we open stuff that you guys have sent to us, please. Um, but anyway, so here's how this works. We've got five boxes or envelopes that uh, viewers have sent us, fans of What the Thrift. Mm -hmm. You have found your own What the Thrift worthy stuff, sent it to us. We're going to open it up. Guga's going to read the letter. We're going to make fun of it. And then you, the viewers, will, what will they do? They will vote on it. How do we say that? <laughs> they will regurgitate, regurgitate, in, they will regurgitate in the swimming in the area. Swimming pool. You will vomit in the pool. Cool. So, we got this big box. Ooh. Oh yeah. We have no idea. It says pottery on the outside. There's packing peanuts, tissue, and bubble wrap involved. Come on. This has got to be, I mean, there's tissue paper. Different kinds of peanuts. I like the recycling of the peanuts. We have at least four different varieties of peanuts here. That's very nice. And some bubble wrap. Lots of bubble wrap. Dear Mommy and Gracie, I'm from Tyler, Texas. Ooh. And my name is... Addie. Addie. Okay. I've been Ooh. watching your channel for a whole while, and I watch What the Thrift meanwhile. What the fan thrift was in the recommended section. Ah. I had no hesitation about liking, linking on it. Uh -huh. and now I'm here. There you are. So about my thrift store choices, I found this cute little girl. Until you see that her doll is the same size as her, <laughs> and when you turn her around, you see something scary. Oh. Also, I found this creepy clown bear thing trying to make a boy stop crying because of him. So choose which one's the creepiest and enter it into the contest. Thanks. Love, Addie. Oh, they just hit the camera, I think, Addie. Okay. All right. Addie. And, I, and I'm 10, and I found these at Goodwill. All right. Your Goodwill apparently has the same kind of questionable taste that our Goodwill has. All righty. So first we're gonna start with the little girl doll, which she's right, at first it's cute. This looks like something that we would have, during the 70s, you would have. Yeah. Yeah. So here is, here is little girl. <clears throat> so little girl is kind of, that kind of looks like me mm -hmm. as little girl, only I was not that cute. Yes, and um, she's got this enormous, somewhat creepy looking, raggedy Ann doll. It almost looks like like um she's actually trying to carry a dead body yes you know <laughs> she's like she's trying to like oh i can't let mom see that i killed this and she's trying to get out of the bedroom um with this creepy doll um but but in the process of carrying the dead doll you know trying to abscond from her room with the dead doll unfortunately her uh little flap opened on her pants and we've got her booty sticking out, but not only do we have her booty sticking out, she's got a giant red splotch on her booty where presumably she fell while at physical therapy. Oh. <laughs> she should have a football size black and blue for that. Guga actually has, guys, no joke, a football, like a, you know, like NFL football sized bruise. Huge bruise, nasty black purple bruise on her left butt cheek look this is on the left butt cheek too oh, yeah she's like your spirit animal she is especially the part where she's carrying the dead body away yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. so so um so yeah wow this is creepy yeah this is this is creepy there's like yeah mm, okay and she's pretty old too. she is pretty old she's definitely like for, at least from the 70s or yeah. 60s yeah this one is also creepy um, another mass-produced item. Okay. So, so, okay. So, the little boy is sad. And he's sad because he's sitting next to a very brightly polka dotly dressed Freddy Fazbear. Let's be honest, this creepy bear 
clown comes to life and kills people. I mean, the kid knows it, you know it, we all know it. That's why he's crying. He's crying because his mom made him go take a picture with Bobo the bear clown, who's <laughs> the dog. I know this is supposed to be like a ruffle around the dog's neck, but just the way it looks, it looks like the dog's like tied around his neck to the clown's leg. Doesn't it? Yeah. It's the effect they were going for is not there. No. Mm. This boy looks sad. Yeah, he does. He does. That's creepy. That's very creepy. So we have creepy clown bear or killer, killer, Doll killer. Hmm. Which one? Creepy clown bear? Yeah. Creepy clown. Okay, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go with creepy clown bear because the creep factor is pretty strong here. Although this, this I'm keeping. This 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 will get an honorable mention on a shelf for sure. Thank you so much for sending those all the way from Tyler, Texas. Yeah. Okay, you wanna start working on this one while yes, I put this I carefully mm -hmm. back in the box? That is one creepy looking bear. Hmm. Oh my. I actually think I know what this is. Do you? I do! I was right! Okay. Well, hello, Mommy and Gracie. I found a doll at my thrift store. I call it Y, but it's called... A darn it doll. Darn it doll. Mm -hmm. I found it at Salvation Army for 50 cents. There was five... There was a Donald Trump version of it. But someone else got it. I hope I win. Sophie. All right, Sophie. I'm going to explain to you the concept of a darn it doll by telling you a story. Story time. So, so this is just like, uh, and they come in all different fabrics. You can actually buy these on Amazon. Okay. Okay. So the purpose of a darn it doll is uh, for people to get out their frustrations. So when I worked at Corporate America, I was at a meeting. Um, I believe it was the meeting where we had been fired. We yes. were all getting laid off uh, at Hewlett Packard, but then I had to, um, I got to fire everybody and then collect all their stuff from them and have them cry all over me as they walked out the door. Right. But we had some uh, like crisis, that thing just wants to be on you, some crisis counseling and like, cause you know, we were, we were angry and we had good reason to be angry. I won't get into it, but Carly Fiorina, I still do not like you. Glad you're never gonna be president. So, but the woman had, she, she had a doll similar to this. And she said, and, and she, she put it on the table. She said, this is your darn it doll. And, and if you get frustrated or angry, just feel free to grab the doll and do this with it on the boardroom table. That apparently keeps people from acting out and yelling and getting upset at meetings. We just all sat there, like like you're sitting there right now, like, so wait, you're like in a business meeting, like in a place of business, <laughs> and when you get annoyed with someone, instead of keeping your mouth shut or saying, are you an idiot? You just reach across the table and be like, excuse me, can I have the doll? Thanks. <laughs> and then everything's good. No wonder they had five Donald Trump ones. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yes. Thank you for the darn it doll. They are creepy. You're not wrong. But you can still buy them on Amazon. Oh, my God. Where does that work? I think it just makes people more, um, yeah. like, I don't know. It's like, to calm people. Though. I don't know. Now I'm all revved up. Okay. This one has some beautiful artwork on it. So I'm going to show you the artwork while Guga reads the letter and then we will, oh, 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 that looks like Gracie. Wow. Wow. Cool. Oh, wow. I want to show that, but I don't great. want to show your, her, yeah. oh, well, maybe it's your Instagram. Okay. So this is from Hannah and she has a Redbubble store and apparently we need to go buy things from her Redbubble store. Check out this art of Gracie playing video games. Look, there's Monokuma, there's Spats. Hannah, you are amazing. Right down here. Ah. This is Hannah's Instagram and her Redbubble store. Wow. Look, she's even got the solo cup. Wow. Dear Mommy and Gracie, this my sister amazing. and I have been watching your channel for about four years. Wow. 
I'm the same age as Gracie, so it was cool for Lil Me to go on YouTube and find a YouTuber the same age as me. That is so me. cool. We Thank got you. this thing at Value Village for $3. I'll show you the rest of the art. We got it because it reminded us of that movie Caroline. Oh, you, Coraline. Coraline. Oh, Coraline. But you can name it whatever. At the bottom it has an outgrowth from the artist. No, an autograph. An outgrowth. <laughs> I'm like, an outgrowth from the artist? What exactly is that? Is there like a bunion? <laughs> Please look at the hands. Me and my sister have included fan art for you that we drew ourselves. You guys are amazing. Hope you like this creepy thing. You're face very talented. From Hannah and Haley. Hannah it, and Haley. It would mean a lot to me if you could check out my red bubble. And oh, Instagram I am. On the and art. I'm going to give that piece of art to Gracie. Yeah. That is amazing. A little fan art for mommy because I forgot to do that. Aww, I got a little fan art. Thank you. Here we go. Mmm. Ready? Mm. Keep that folded. See? <laughs> yeah, there. There I am. There's my little head. Okay. Aww. That's cute. Look, my bangs are doing that right now. <laughs> okay. You guys were right. No. No. <laughs> no. Look at this. This would make an excellent wedding gift or cake topper. Yeah, I think it should be a cake topper. For what the thrift fans everywhere, the perfect cake topper. Look at those beautiful blue eyes and those chubby cheeks. Don't they just look like the happiest couple ever? Don't they? Come on. You know when you get married, you want this on top of your cake. You will put us on top of your cake. You will put us on top of your cake. Why are their eyes like, they look like, are they like? They're strange. They're buttons. They're, they're buttons? Yes. I guess these are supposed to be rag dolls. Oh, the fingers. Oh, she's right. Oh, the hands. Oh. 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 Okay. Let's. Oh, their eye, their but their eyes are it's creepy. Their eyes are definitely creepy. And the, but, the, but the hands are definitely. This looks like a pig. It doesn't even look like a hand. It looks no. like a pig. Now look at his hand back here. That's that's some beautiful stuff there. And now we got another like piggy. I mean, I know this little piggy went to market. Um. Oh, I guess it's made by T M. Wow. This is awesome. You know what's even more awesome about this is this might be a one of a kind. This doesn't say that it was made in China or anything. This might have been something For that, that someone made. And this may have even been a wedding gift for someone. And I would be really thrilled if somebody <laughs> thought that I looked like that. On my wedding Can you imagine this at the wedding shower? So you know, at, like at bridal showers, if you've, if you've never been to one, try to avoid them. But um, <laughs> I know I do. But so, so like a lot of times the smaller things, story time. A lot of times at like a wedding shower or baby shower, but more at wedding showers, when people get smaller things, they pass them around so everyone can look at them. And we were so bad. <laughs> we sat, the four of us, at the same table and made fun of everything they passed to us. Well, not, even, not even everything. It's like everything they open. It's like somebody opens a towel and they're yeah. like, oh, my towels. You all made my towels, which is really nice. And thank you for giving me. But then everybody goes, ooh. Ah, okay. I mean, you know, it's just, it's just stupid. And you know, you, you have to do it because we have to, because we're females and they make us go to these things. So we had been, you know, making fun of stuff. Um, cause that's how we roll on our side of the family. And it was a, like a, like a pie server, like a, a cake, cake server. server. And I believe it was Lennox. And I think it had either a crystal or like a, uh, what do you call that stuff? China? Pottery, uh, yeah. porcelain. porcelain, porcelain. See, we're so girly. Like handle, which you know was nice. And so, and we were not alone at our table. See, the bride's family, some of her family was at our table, so we were already making a spectacle, Very, and they were already hating yeah. on us. But see, what happened was, I was fine until the woman handed me the pie server like this. Like okay, like gonna, it was a challenge. I'm gonna do it to you, so you guys can see. Like this is what I get. I get. Like she's literally handing me like
like the chalice, you know, like, like the Holy Grail. Like this is Christ drank from this. She's like, and it was like being in the Stepford Wives. And I was just like, <laughs> I took it and then I handed it to Cousin Patty. And I looked at Cousin Patty and I was like, look. And then we lost it. And we, we totally were, we lost it. We were very bad. And we got such, we got terrible, such dirty, dirty looks. looks after the, oh yeah. Mm. Yeah. That marriage didn't last, by the way. No. Because any family that's that into a cake server <laughs> is obviously not going to fit in with this gang. I mean, literally, she's like, she's like, ah. like you can hear the heavenly, you know, yeah. ah, behold the cake server. And I'm just like, <laughs> it's a cake server lady, get over it. I to What the Thrift. Dear What the Thrift, I saw this in my local Soars. Savers? Savers? Sears? Yeah. Savers? I don't know. I think and, it's a Savers. And it thought, oh, it's a Savers. It's got the Savers tag. I thought it was a Pink Panther at first, but then realized it had a Miley Cyrus tongue <laughs> and looks like it needs mental health. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be a Sphinx cat. I call it Gerard, Gerald, but you can call it whatever you want. I hope it wins. Grace, I'm 13 and sorry for my terrible handwriting. <laughs> Is this? Why? Why does this exist? Oh my god. I think it's supposed to be one of those hairless sphinx cats. I think. But why this tongue? Look at the tongue. That is a huge... I don't care... I mean, I know cats have long tongues, but they don't generally walk around with them sticking out. No, not you like paid $1.99 for this? Wow. Well. This is so sad, but it's got like the wrinkles and stuff like it's supposed to be a sphinx cat. Yeah. Look at how pretty it is. And two different color eyes. Yeah, isn't it cute? I mean, don't you just want to cuddle with it mm. at night? No. No? No. No? You just don't know what's good. I know. Come on. I'm cute. You know you want to cuddle with me, Guga. I ain't going to go home in your bag. Yeah, well. <laughs> Um, yeah, give it a squeeze. Wow, that's pretty creepy. Mm. So, uh, oh, it goes over here. So uh, we're gonna put you back in the box, Sphinx Cat, and uh, we're gonna call it Sphinx Cat. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So we have one more, right? This yes. one. Yes. Okay. Mm. Here we go, guys. Let's see what's in here. Oh, this is interesting. I'm feeling for a letter. Here we go. Oh. Mm. Dear Mommy and Gracie, I hope you like the items I have sent you. I actually found them at a really nice thrift store. How surprising. The first one, I had no idea what it was, but my mom said it is a toilet <laughs> lid cover. It is. It is. <laughs> These used to be I have all to, the rage. I have to have that on my toilet. <laughs> See, you put it over the toilet lid, which, by the way, the lid goes down. Yes. I call it toilet bug. Toilet bug. How then, cute is it? Then the other item is an old item. I call it Eyes of Terror, Feet of Pain. Oh, now that's a gorgeous hat, Melissa. I think I might wear this to the royal wedding. <laughs> I want to go. My friend has a hotel room like right across from oh. the palace. I should go and I should wear toilet bug on my head. <laughs> <laughs> um, eyes of what? Eyes of terror, feet of pain. Good, good ones. If you look under her skirt, you will understand the second part of her name. So here we go. What the heck is with her feet? Oh, you're going to see in a second. Okay. So there she is. She's one of those like, I had a doll like this. She's got like netting over like some really cheap plastic or something. Yeah. Okay, but here, oh, look at her hands. Yes, she's got these like, like wire fingers. Mm. I had a doll like this when I was a kid and it really freaked me out. Okay, here we go, feet of pain. Oh my God. They're like metal pins where oh. her feet should be. I think that this was supposed to go on top of like a jewelry box oh, yeah, yes, or something yes, like that. Yeah. And that's why it has those prongs instead of feet. I mean, that makes Brat's feet look like normal. Oh, sad. It's very sad. I feel bad. I feel bad for eyes of terror, feet of pain. 
I hope you like the items. I have also sent a picture I drew of my favorite Steven Universe character. Oh. Please show it on camera. Mm -hmm. I love watching What the Thrift and the Mommy and Gracie show. Don't quit making these shows. As a fifth grader who really likes weird things, I really enjoy your show. <laughs> Thank I, you. I have um, a few questions for you on the back of this page. Okay. Your biggest fan, Anne. Oh, Peridot! Oh, you clods. Very good drawing. Well, I feel like I want to enter Toilet Bug. Okay. But but you you like... No. You, do you like Eyes of Terror, Feet of no, Pain? I really like Toilet Bug. <laughs> do you want to wear Toilet Bug? No. <laughs> <laughs> toilet Bug is actually very becoming. Very chic. It's very chic. I am wearing it to the Royal Wedding. I am definitely. I'll sort of have to, you know, cock it to one side a little bit. <laughs> You know, because that's how they don't wear their hats, well, just like, don't. right, you know, you have to have it all mm -hmm. tilted and stuff. Well, I want a fascinator. What's a fascinator? The little hats that they put right Oh, in. I love the tiny hats. Oh, I love them. I love tiny hats. I don't think, I think my head is too big for a tiny no. hat, though. Yeah, no. I yeah. Think, <laughs> <laughs> she can't decide how to answer that question. All right, so we're going to enter Toilet Bug because it brought me uh, lots of humor yes. and uh, kept my head warm for this video. So now, what do they need to do? <laughs> can she do it i can't um you have to vote and the way you vote is you vomit in the pool thank you yes so the little poll card is going to pop up over here with your choices and you will choose one of the five items that we have you shared have you two other ones there? for what the fan thrift i do i do i do okay and uh you will choose one of those items the winner will get a lovely t-shirt and i thank guga so much you're very for coming welcome. and hanging out today you were awesome so we got through some stuff yeah i love you i love you too i can do another five if you want are you kidding me girl i can't even move i know i can't either but i want to help you get your we can do it on another day i need to rest okay i can do another five if you want mind you we already filmed two videos over there and three over here which one of us is the old person i am i can do another five if you want <laughs> How about we get Bill to cook us some food? That would be really, really good. What time nice. is it? It's 3.30. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. I want to see what we can do here. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. We love you. Bye. Bye.